Okay, now you might have heard of a uh, little thing recently. It uh, picked up a little bit of traction. It's called YouTube Rewind. Uh, people really liked it. Okay, now I've never really, uh, I've never really watched a full YouTube Rewind. I, I have watched one. Uh, the 2018 one released two weeks ago. That's the only one I've ever actually watched all the way through. Because, honestly, YouTube Rewind has never really attracted me much. So it's just been... Trending YouTubers, trending celebrities, trending songs. When in reality, all I want is 10 hours of Carl Weezer moaning and licking his fingers to the Wii theme. But that being said, I do always hear people say 2013 YouTube Rewind was so good. 2014 YouTube Rewind was so good. So much better than this trash. And then I watched them. And I think I might have realized something. I'm not sure if YouTube Rewind was ever actually good to begin with. Now, since I've never actually watched a full YouTube Rewind, I'm not really biased by any nostalgia or anything. Yeah, I guess I have some nostalgia for the events portrayed in it, but I have zero nostalgia for the actual videos. So I think I'm kind of the perfect candidate for this. Also in the description, I have timestamps for every single YouTube Rewind I review. So you can just click on those and go to the one you want to see. YouTube Rewind 2010. Does the Steven count? It's really just a minute and a half of a bunch of random clips from throughout the year. Nothing really transitioning them. I mean, yeah, it's alright. It's better than the 2018 one, I guess. But, eh. Also, at the very end, they do like a top 10 countdown thing of the top 10 best videos from 2010. I don't know. I, I, I don't really count this one. It's, it doesn't really seem much like a rewind to me. YouTube Rewind 2011, and holy shit, is that Rebecca Black? Yeah, this video, it, it feels a lot more like a YouTube Rewind. I mean, it's still mainly just a bunch of clips without any transitions, but it, at least we got Rebecca Black in here. This year was a huge year for YouTube. We laughed, <laughs> we cried, thinking about cats again. We said, aww, 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 aww. Yeah, I mean, this one, it's a lot closer to being a rewind, but they still kind of do the top 10 thing. And again, just like the 2010 one, it's just kind of decent. You can kind of see the first inklings of a YouTube rewind in this one, but... You, eh. YouTube rewind 2012. Oh, wait, sorry. Rewind YouTube style 2012. My bad. Okay, now this one is actually what I would really consider the first YouTube rewind. It's the first one to really have a bunch of YouTube stars really all together doing stuff. This one is also the first one to have celebrities in it, so far as I know, and, uh... Hmm. I don't know, celebrities don't really bother me too much in this one. At least it's not Will Smith asking for Mark Ass Brownlee, so... I don't know, this one's actually not really that bad, though. I mean, it actually does kind of feel like the people making it kind of know what YouTube is like. It doesn't feel like it's just made by a bunch of 50-year-old men in suits having no idea what YouTube is like and just looking at Google Trends. And we'll say this is the only one to get some sort of a laugh from me. About a minute and 31 seconds in, you see this little rover that that Smosh was like, yeah, you remember Smosh? They were like dealing with the entire video and it just explodes. Everyone's just shocked. I don't know, that just makes me chuckle a little bit. I will say, though, the explosion, it looks like a Minecraft explosion. I don't get how they didn't, how they didn't use that opportunity. Speaking of which, why is there no Minecraft in this video? The closest we get are these two dudes from Corridor Digital wearing Minecraft suits. But, like, no, no Minecraft or anything? How would they not take the opportunity to have, like, a creeper walk out of that explosion or something? Like, it just feels like such a missed opportunity. And I guess Minecraft was a bit more of a 2013 thing, but but still, I mean, it was massive in 2012, wasn't it? I don't know, still, though, I mean, this this is the first one I would really consider YouTube Rewind. And, I mean, it, it's alright. I mean, it still doesn't really appeal to me. It's still the trendy celebrities, the trendy songs, the trendy everything. So it doesn't really appeal to me too much, but I don't know. I, I didn't find it particularly egregious. I probably will never watch it again, except maybe in, like, 10 years or something, but... I don't know. Not too bad. Okay, so now it's that Rewind YouTube Style 2012. Now it's YouTube Rewind again. Make up your mind, YouTube!
Okay, now this is the one everyone always points to as the perfect YouTube Rewind, and yeah, I see why. I mean, it's pretty well-rounded. I mean, you have pretty much all the most popular YouTube stars, a lot of trendy music from the time. You also have some celebrities, but they aren't taking the place of the YouTubers. But I'm just going to say right now, I don't really see anything wrong with having celebrities in YouTube Rewind. I mean, they are a part of the platform. That being said, it's just whenever they overshadow the actual people who actually make videos, that's when, uh, that's when it gets bad. At least with this one, though, I mean, they, they don't really overshadow anyone, they just feel like they're a part of it. Also, they get a lot of points in my book for, for having the Breaking Bad van with, uh, Smosh making meth. I don't think they'd get away with that in 2018. Wait. Hey, look, it's that Nazi dude the media hates. 2014 YouTube Rewind. I don't like this one that much. I mean, it's not egregious or anything, but it... it eh? This is the first one that really kind of feels like it's a bunch of guys in suits making it. It feels a lot less like the people making it actually know what they're making, and it feels a lot more like... I just look at Google Trends... I mean, it doesn't feel quite as bad as as 2018. I would still consider it good, but it's the first one that you can really tell. Yeah, we're we're taking a downgrade. For all though, it's not terrible. Still though, it's it's the trendy celebs, the trendy everything. It's just yeah. YouTube Rewind 2015. More of 2014, but worse. Am I the only one that thinks the year 2015 was really freaking forgettable? I mean, what happened in 2015? Can you answer me that? I don't know. I think of a ton of things from 2014 to 2016. But 2015? 2014 was really the start of YouTube Rewind being made by guys in suits. 2015 is the first one where it's just 100%. Way more celebrities, just way less like they actually watched YouTube. Oh, but if you thought 2015 was bad, just wait for 2016. Oh yeah, it's my favorite YouTuber, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I never understood this with Rewind. Why would you start Rewind with a celebrity instead of an actual YouTuber? I feel like that's mainly what pisses a lot of people off, is just starting it with the main spotlight being on a dude who maybe makes one vlog every six months and pays a dude a hundred bucks to edit said vlog, that's not a YouTuber. Teen YouTube Rewind was the first rewind I would really consider bad, and if that one was bad, then this one is terrible. This one, it just, you feel such a strong sense that they have no idea what YouTube even is. It just feels like YouTube Studios hired some studio to get a bunch of YouTubers together and just to get this. Just to make this. And it just... No. Oh boy, YouTube Rewind 2017. The shape of 2017. Yeah, if you can't tell, I, uh... I don't like this one that much. Oh, look, it's my favorite YouTuber. Stephen Colbert. Oh... <sighs> I, I honestly, if 2016 was 100% suits, then I don't know what this is. It's like with each one, it gets more and more like it's guys in suits who've never seen a YouTube video. Hmm, what's on YouTube? Let's look up what's trendy. Fidget spinners, KSI. Okay, then. I will say this one at least has a lot of higher production values, it feels like, but... Is that Logan Paul? Is that Jake Paul? Are they throwing slime? Like it's the Nick Teen's Choice Awards? Okay, this is my favorite YouTube Rewind now. YouTube Rewind 2018. Everyone controls Rewind. Especially my boy Will Smith. He, he controls it the best. Hey, look, it's Ninja, the Twitch streamer. Why is he here? Oh, yeah, because he uploads Twitch highlights. He's a YouTuber. Can you imagine if Twitch did a Twitch rewind and they included PewDiePie? It would feel so out of place because he's a YouTuber. 
I'm not a Twitch streamer. That's what it's like to have Ninja in this. We'll say if Twitch ever does a Twitch rewind, they better include the PewDiePie bridge scene. What a fucking- yeah. I mean, At least with the 2017 one, they had a song going throughout it, and it just- it felt like a bit of a montage. This, they just randomly stop and go to the Japanese suicide forest and just start talking around a campfire for some reason. For some reason, uh, Casey Neistat really wants K-pop now. I don't know why. Also, I feel like somehow the production values went down. Like, look at this green screening. This is terrible. What, did all the budget go to the battle bus? Oh, but it's okay. They're hip and trendy because they got Bongo Cat, guys. You hear that? They got Bongo Cat. Ooh. And now we're doing Mookbang. AKA, shove your face hole down with junk food until you get obesity. I wonder if there's a squirt Mookbang. Seven likes and I do a squirt mukbang. Over, I, I don't really know what I could say about this rewind. That hasn't already been said. It's it's just bad, okay? It's just bad. But at least we got PewDiePie's chair in, guys. That's all that matters. And honestly, the biggest problem I have with this is honestly Will Smith. Like, why would you start a rewind with Will Smith? I, I still don't get... Why would you ever start a YouTube Rewind with a celebrity? I mean, they did it with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now they're doing it with his twin, Will Smith. I just don't get it. I mean, there are way less celebrities in this one than they had in 2017 or 2016. I mean, the TV show hosts are only there for, like, half a second. They were so close to maybe pleasing people a little bit. Because people always complain about the celebrities. They were so close to to actually listening. But then they throw Will Smith at the start. If you want to have Will Smith in it, that's fine. But give him a half a second cameo like you did the others. Even even if they didn't have, have Will Smith, man, it'd still be terrible. But I mean, YouTube, I don't get it. I don't think YouTube Rewind was ever really good. The best three... For 2012, 2013, and 2014, and even still, like, 2012, eh, 2013 is the best we really had. Then 2014, you can definitely tell there was a step down. And even the best one, 2013, it's just decent. It's not a video I would re-watch, really. Even watching the 2013 YouTube Rewind, I don't watch it, I'm like, yep. That's what 2013 was like. Because it's not. At YouTube Rewind's best. It's just... Eh. Then at its worst, it's it's Margas Brownlee. Overall, I, I don't think YouTube's ever going to make YouTube Rewind again. At least not for many years. I mean, their own YouTube Rewind is now the most disliked YouTube video of all time. I think at this point, it would be smart for YouTube, and probably best for YouTube... Just, just to not do YouTube Rewind again. Maybe in like five years when hopefully there's less hostility around YouTube. Maybe we can even get past the apocalypse, please. Oh, maybe then they'll make another YouTube Rewind and who knows, maybe, maybe people will like it again. But as it is now, I feel like even if YouTube makes a YouTube Rewind that does everything they want it to do, I feel like it's still going to get some hate. And overall, I feel like at this point, it's just not even worth it from a, from a studio standpoint for YouTube to even do this. From a money-making standpoint, it's just it's just bad publicity for them. And a waste of money. I don't know, if they ever do do another Rewind, I don't know, I'll probably talk about it. But I don't know. Do you like YouTube Rewind? Really watching these made me realize... I'm not sure if it really ever was good. But I don't know, that's YouTube Rewind. Wear your seatbelts. Not the odd ones out, but wear your seatbelts.